Hey guys, uh, good to be here for this week's labs update. On the session side of things, we are working, well, we've, we're juggling basically, we've got a few things going on at the moment. Um, the good news is that push notifications, the updated push notification stuff that I've been talking about for a while and the message request setting that I've also been talking about, that is now in power user testing um, as of last night. Um, so waiting to hear some feedback back from that, making sure that push notifications are still super reliable um, before we go live and also um, testing out the message request setting as well. Um, so hopefully we should have some feedback um, on that within the week um, and then we'll be able to look towards a release uh, sometime next week, hopefully, as long as there's no massive bugs that we have to come up and fix. So that's awesome. Uh, there's also two teams that are working on disappearing messages right now. So that's on Android and uh, desktop. There's people on iOS who are working on uh, our new onboarding methodology. And then there's three people that are working on uh, closed groups right now as well. Um, and we're also working on, uh, Jason's working on the lib session side of things to implement closed groups as well, which we're hoping to wrap up this week. So lots of moving um, parts in the session team, but lots of stuff happening at the same time um, and a lot of features coming along super nicely. Um, so that kind of is the session side of things. Um, on Oxen, uh, we are still moving forward, developing uh, some of this migration stuff that I've been speaking about for a few weeks. Um, so the smart contracts involved there, but also um, this week we released a new kind of library, uh, which is going to be the communication library between Oxen and C++ code and the EVM kind of layer that we'll be working with um, in the future. Um, so that is up on the Oxen repository now if you want to check it out. Um, encourage you to do so. It still doesn't have all of the smart contracts. It's just kind of the C++ uh, layer that we're using for the communications um, between the two uh, networks. So that's all moving nicely. Um, and I'll give you updates periodically as, ha as that develops. Um, on the Oxen, oh, sorry, on the LokiNet side of things, um, things are going well. We're still uh, dealing with uh, integrating LibQuick into, into LokiNet and that's coming along nicely. Just progressive tasks, it's gonna be kind of incremental updates week to week. Um, we're implementing some new development processes so that people are pushing their code more often. Um, which should help us keep track of things a little bit easier in the pull requests and stuff. Um, so yeah, just a short one this week. We're working on a lot of stuff uh, simultaneously. Um, but yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you again for next week's update. Thanks, guys. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another labs update or weekly labs update. And I'm here from the marketing side. Josh, your host for the marketing. <laughs> um, so again, uh, last week was another big week. We were working through a lot of the internal feedback that we got um, reviewing the uh, new branding for the session token. Um, so we've just been working through, you know, what internally people have said in the team and like making changes to that. Um, and also doing a lot of thinking around like now that we're considering going down the session ecosystem side and calling it session token, um, looking at the rest of our products and projects in this ecosystem and looking at how we need to change them and fit them into the session ecosystem. So that's things like LokiNet, um, et cetera. So seeing what needs to change to get them sessionified which is actually kind of a tricky process because simultaneously you're not just doing one rebrand, you're kind of doing three. Um, so it's just looking through things and practically figuring out how we can make that change in the most effective way possible to pull it off quickly um, and also do a good job of it. Um, so we were doing a lot of work on that front. Um, also, we've also been uh, doing a bunch of work on potential promotional campaigns for when the new token is actually rolled out because we want basically to make everyone know about the new direction that we're heading in and also to bring people in. Um, so just figuring out a campaign strategy for when that eventually uh, goes live. Um, also on the session side, we've been creating a brand new session newsletter to capitalize on our big email subscriber list. Currently, we're sitting at around over 20,000 email subscribers. So we're just building out a new newsletter to be able to 
uh, utilize them more effectively and give more updates and more info to people who are interested in it. Um, also, we've been working really closely with a research fellow. Um, we've been working with uh, in collaboration with the Iran Cyber Dialogue. And um, we have a research fellow that we're working with who's doing a lot of research into censorship circumvention in Iran. So, yeah, that's basically the stuff that we've been working on for the last week. Um, so thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time on the internet.